Finally, I'm going to be finding the initial value and growth factor from a graph. And so here I have the graph of an exponential function. Remember, the graph of an exponential function gives you this nice boomerang-shaped curve. And what I'm looking for is, again, the initial value and the growth factor. And so if you've been following my advice about making sure you understand the definition of everything well, initial value we know is the same thing as y-intercept. So in order to find the initial value on this, all we have to do is find the y-intercept. And fortunately, that's one of the easier things we know how to do on a graph. So we look at the y-axis, and we look for where the graph crosses the y-axis. Well, it crosses at 1, and so my initial value is just going to be 1. It is literally as easy as that. Remember that the initial value is the y-intercept. Now, for the growth factor, this is a little less straightforward. So what I need to do is I need to find two points that are separated on the x-axis by 1. So I chose the y-intercept here at 1, and then at 1, we can see it crosses right there. And what I'm most interested in are my y-values. So at this point, the y-value, the y-coordinate of that point, is 1, where it crosses the y-axis. And the y-coordinate of this one is 4. Now what I can do is, just as before, with my growth factor, I take my second y divided by my first y. So in this case, the y value of my second point, and the second point on a graph is always going to be the one that's furthest to the right. So I take my second number divided by my first number, and 4 divided by 1 is, of course, 4. And so my growth factor is going to be 4. And again, all I'm doing is taking the y value of my second one, or my second point on this line, 4, divided by the y value of my first point on this line. And those points have to be separated by only one number on the x-axis. This doesn't work if I were to choose a point over here at 2. Interestingly enough, though, it will work if I take points at 1 and 2. Uh, so, for instance, at 2... My y value is 16, and so I can choose this point and this point. They're just separated by 1. 16 divided by 4 is still 4. Uh, so as long as they're separated by 1, and I divide the second y by the first y, I will find my growth factor, and in this case that is 4. So let's try that again with the second one to make sure we still know what we're doing. The initial value is going to be the y-intercept, so we look for where this thing crosses the y-axis. It crosses at 4, so that's my initial value. Now for the growth factor, I need two points, so I'll take my y-intercept because I know where that is, and I need another point that is 1 away from that, right there. And so this is a point on the graph of my exponential function, and then I look at their y values. The y value for this one is 8, and the y value for this one is 4. And now I take my second y value divided by my first one, and so I take 8 divided by 4 to find my growth factor. And in this case, my growth factor is going to be 2. So what this means is that every time I go over by 1 on x, I multiply the y value by 2. And we can see that happening again if we look at this second point. The y value there is 16. So I can see every time my x increases by 1, I'm multiplying my y by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And so my growth factor here is going to be 2. And now you should be set up where you can find the initial value and growth factor of an exponential function from a sequence, from a table, or from a graph. And we're going to use this in the next quiz cycle to write the equation of an exponential function.